Hey, how is the war going? Do you have the half-time score? <laughs> yeah, that is what I want to talk to you about, René. Now, I know you have helped some British airmen to escape. Oh, well, uh, but I'm prepared to wipe the slate clean. Ah, oh, thank you, Colonel. But the Colonel says you have got to promise to stop helping the resistance. Oh, uh, of course, Colonel. Now, will you promise me, on your honor? Oh, well, Colonel, you must understand, I, I am in business. Uh, some of the resistance might very well be my customers, without my knowing, Don't be devious, René. Promise me, on your honor. Well... On your honor as a Frenchman. Oh, well, that is different. You have my word. <laughs> Good, you may buy us a drink. Mm. René! René! The most dreadful thing has happened. There's a whole sausage in the kitchen. Well, what is so dreadful about that? Somebody has removed one. The one with the little swastika on it. The one with the little swastika on it? That belongs to Herr Flick of the Gestapo. It is his personal sausage. It is the one containing the painting of the fallen Madonna with big boobies. <laughs> Rolled up. <laughs> Don't get confused, Hans. It contains only the forgery. Yes, the real one is still safe in my cellar. There you are. You have nothing to worry about. I, on the other hand, do have something to worry about. What if Herr Flick asks for it back? Tell him it has been nicked. He will have me shot. No, he will not. I'm the commandant here. Herr Flick has no authority to have you shot. He will have to ask the colonel, and he will have you shot. <laughs> that makes me feel much better. René? 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 Your wife is trying to attract your attention. Take no notice. It will not be anything important. <laughs> it may be very important. She may wish to sing another song. Well, good one. Yes. <laughs> what is it? The grandfather clock in the back room needs winding. Edith, we have no grandfather clock. It is code. Do you never read your code book? It means the resistance is in the back room. Oh, Eck. <laughs> René, that English idiot who thinks he can speak French is outside. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> It is not moaning, it is evening. Now, what do you want? Michelle of the Resistance washes to tick to you. <laughs> she has had a nasty accident by failing of a drain poop. <laughs> All right, you know the code book. What is he talking about? Carry her this wee. <laughs> and do not let her drip. <laughs> she has strewned her back and has also a compost fricture of the left lung. Listen very carefully. I shall whisper this only once because I am in great pain. Her log is in plister of porridge. <laughs> My God, what did she land in? I have a plan to get rid of the British airmen by air. Oh, no, not that balloon again. No, no. In the museum is an exact replica of the plan used by Pierre Leconte to cross the channel in 1910. Pierre Leconte? I have never heard of him. Oh, think back, you must have done. <laughs> it was uh, not in the paper. He endeavored to cross the channel before Blerio. He crashed. But the plan is still airworthy, except that there is no engine. What, what good is it without an engine? Well, the engine of a lawn mower would give sufficient power. So, what do you want me to do about it? Steal the plan, find a motor, and contact me in bed three, ward seven, Nouvion General Hospital. <laughs> she has pissed out. <laughs> Away, Hans. I can see the ambush. They're in position. Oh, where is René with the money? He's late. Maybe he was arrested by the troops at the roadblock. You underestimate me, Hans. I have equipped him with a disguise that will enable him to pass freely through the countryside. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you never underplay anything. <laughs> well, Mr. French, huh? that is where we are to meet the girls at the communist resistance. <laughs> there is a bridge over there. That is where we are to meet René, the cafe on his party. 
They will be disguised as Germans. Germans? <laughs> halt! There is the bridge. To the left, you will be observing the girls of the communist resistance. They will be in possession of the sausage. Beyond the bridge, you will see the cafe owner and his party disguised as German soldiers. They will be in possession of the ransom money. Everything is proceeding according to plan. I'm not much to look at, not much to see. Just glad I'm living and lucky to be. But I've got a someone who's crazy for me. I'm funny that way. <laughs> Do you have the money? Yes, we have the money. Do you have the sausage? It is here. Bring the money forward. Place it on the ground. Retire ten paces. When we have checked the money, then you will get the sausage. What? What is going on here? This is very suspicious. Eric, Kurt, sit! <laughs> These communists, they trust nobody. It is all there. Do not worry, we will get it all back again when the Colonel's troops arrive. Where are they? In a moment, they will arrive at the rendezvous, recover the money, and return it to us. It is correct. Uh, uh, check it again, if you like. Where have they got to? Here is your sausage. Eric! <laughs> Come here, you naughty boy! Come here. Come here with that sausage. What? It is a trap. Quick, into the woods. A dog has just apprehended the Gestapo sausage. Arrest him. <laughs> Three resistance girls are escaping. We will pursue them. Hans, our pensions. Quick. <laughs> Any of your plan. Monsieur Leclerc, the forger, has been secretly slipping away to the cellar. I have spied on him. He is forging money. We could give to Monsieur our friends forged money. Hmm? Edith, Leclerc is not a good forger. But I know Monsieur our friends. He will not even look at the money. He will put it straight back in his mattress. He is dead stingy. It is deceitful and underhand. It is a good plan. <laughs> How do we persuade Monsieur Leclerc to reveal to us where he has hidden his secret herd? Monsieur Leclerc is here. Leave this to me. Ah, you wish to see me? Yeah, Monsieur Leclerc, I do not wish to spread panic, but the cafe is on fire. Oh, <laughs> well, I shall go to... Ah, ah, <laughs> my God, my savings! My life's project savings! <laughs> My money! <laughs> My money! Oh, Officer Crabtree, can I get you a cognac? No, I am not allowed to drunk when I am on deck. <laughs> oh, I'm amazed that no one has penetrated your disguise. I have been licky, but. I have had some narrow squawks. <laughs> I wish to spook with René. Kill him and get me a kiffy. <laughs> René? A 
Good morning. Ah, officer. <laughs> How kind of you to patronize my humble cafe. What are you doing here, you stupid nit? You're going to get us all nicked. Michelle has a massage for you. <laughs> Sat here and she will gin you at this table. <laughs> ah, I must be a boot my bossness. A policeman's lit is not a hippie win. <laughs> And he is supposed to be on our side. <laughs> Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. <laughs> Captain Oot is waiting for Peter Pan in Never Never Land. There would be very little point in your saying that twice. <laughs> I have no idea what it means. How are you ever going to help us if you do not learn your code book? It means the plan of escape for the British Airmen has been approved by London. Good. What plan? To escape in the aeroplane from the museum. Oh, surely you are not going ahead with that airbrained scheme. It hasn't even got an engine. We have stolen from General von Klinkeröffen the engine of his motor mower. Michel, he will do his work. You are going to hide it for us. Where is it? We will leave it here. No one will suspect it is the bus chair of your mother-in-law. More of the cursed enemy approach. Come, Lisette. We will melt away. <laughs> You sent for me, Herr Flick? Yes, Helga. You are three minutes late. My duties with the colonel end at 5.30. I have to tidy the office and then I have to have a schnapps with him. I hope that you did not enjoy it. Not at all. <laughs> Good. You may kiss me. <laughs> Also, you had a cheese biscuit. <laughs> the colonel always insists that with my drink, I also have a little nibble. <laughs> now, pay attention. I will shortly be inviting you to the Gestapo club. Are you pleased? Of course, Herr Flick. To be in the club with the Gestapo will be a great honor. <laughs> I know. You will be my partner at the annual Gestapo dance in Berlin. First, there will be a banquet with the traditional boar's head, baron of beef, frankfurters, strudel, sauerkraut, and oodles of beer. <laughs> the place will be full of big noises, including <laughs> Göring and Himmler. I can't wait. <laughs> At midnight, you will be expected to dance the traditional Gestapo dance. How does it go, Herr Flick? I will demonstrate. <laughs> Put your left boot in, you take your left boot out. You do a lot of shouting and you shake your fists about. You light a little smoky and you burn down the town. That spot is all about. Hey. Ah, himla, himla, himla. <laughs> yes, Kuba. Yes. Carry on, Kuba. Guba has a good lead and has every hope of tracking down the painting. This is good news. <laughs> what do you want, von Smallhausen? I have to report a serious case of sabotage to the lawnmower of General von Klinkerhofen. The engine has disappeared. This is very mysterious. Who would require the engine of a lawnmower? Possibly, Herr Flick, someone who possesses a lawnmower without an engine. <laughs> you will not be a smart ass with me. Von Smart! Herr Flick, what are we going to do about General von Klickerhofen's lawn? It will be untidy. Get some peasants to eat the grass. <laughs> of course, Herr Flick. At once. <laughs> Take those behind me, you 
get lost. I can get now. But this is the great hall. When I was a serving girl, I used to polish it. What are we doing here? We are supposed to be in the bedroom. It is a shortcut. We have heard of a shortcut in a secret passage. <laughs> Somebody's coming. What? Good. They have gone. We are going to get caught. I know it. We are going to get caught. <laughs> At the head of the stairs is the entrance to another secret passage, which leads to the general's dressing room. Follow me. <laughs> I like polish. <laughs> Where are they? In the cellars. I know that. Well, Kluber's plan of the chateau. Yes, um, it all depends on whether that is the north or whether that is the north. Have you got a compass? Uh, I, I have one on my Swiss army knife. Hang on. Here we are. Mm. That is the north. In that case, we are going the wrong way. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Hans, you fool! What are you doing? You're knocking out our own people! It was a good shot, wasn't it? <laughs> Find it. Yvette will be doing her piece in three minutes. Quickly, hide. It's no room, but go somewhere else. This was haunted. A sort of honor with a limp has just walked past. Hey, look out. Somebody else is coming. <laughs> potatoes in the kitchen, but I can also peel other things. <laughs> How dare you assume that the German general would compromise himself with a serving girl? Who is there? It is I, Helga! <laughs> what do you want? I have for you a present from Herr Flick. A moment. I will hide in the wardrobe. No, 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 it's full, under the bed. Do not ask. Hilda! <laughs> the present! Am I to understand that Herr Flick has sent to me as a present at one o'clock in the morning a gramophone? Not only this, General. He has sent me. <laughs>
Петров. What's going on in there? Helga is doing a striptease. <laughs> we haven't got time for that. <laughs> Helga? <laughs> I'm all steamed up. Give the sausage. Oh, the sausage. You've got to go. So, come on. With Maria. <laughs> you stupid woman. What do you think I am doing in the wardrobe with Maria? She has fainted with cold fear. I am reviving her with the eat from my body. Just you wait till I get you home. Come I, Leclerc. I am disguised as a clown. The disguise was not necessary. And I have a message from Michelle. If she will arrive to collect the motor from the mower that is in the bus chair, huh? which is to go into the aeroplane that is in the museum, uh, ready for the takeoff. She is off her rocker. <laughs> also, you are to collect. Uh, 200 feet of elastic to make a catapult to assist it into the air. <laughs> 200 feet of it? Where am I supposed to find 200 feet of elastic? Every man in the village uh, will give up his braces. I have already given up mine. Viva la France! <laughs> oh. Look out, there are Germans coming. Get them quick. Get them on, get them on. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, with your permission, never before seen in Nouveau, seven clubs in the air at one time. Never before seen. Music, maestro, please. <laughs> seven. Hey. <laughs> I, I did not say I could catch them. <laughs> There is any. Do you wish to speak to him? Oh, he's just clearing a table. He will be here in a minute. Ah, uh, Captain, Colonel. Uh, I am sorry if I have kept you waiting. Uh, I was just dealing with a strolling idiot. <laughs> really? Uh, there are going on things we do not understand. Uh, really, Colonel? Uh, a, a drink on the house, perhaps? <laughs> Thank you. For instance, there is the motor of the General's lawnmower. Search me. We did. We didn't find it. <laughs> Second, this vehicle rally. What is behind it? Oh, uh, nothing, Colonel. It is just us simple peasants enjoying ourselves with, with old steam engines and tractors and things. We are, after all, all little boys at heart, are we not? Oh, this is true, yes. I still sleep with Herman, my teddy bear. <laughs> I warn you, René, her flick will be there, and we shall also be there. Mingling. <laughs> Truthfully, Colonel, there is nothing unusual going on in the village. My braces. <laughs> 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 
Why did this man give you his braces? <laughs> it's a secret society, Colonel. <laughs> yes, it is. The, it is the Grand Order of the uh, of the uh, of the Night Owls. Of the Night Owls. That, that is right. Yes, the Grand Order of the Night Owls. I am the Grand Master. He is the Big Oot. <laughs> That man has just been initiated. Yet, for three weeks, he must go around with no braces. What have braces to do with night owls? <laughs> night owls do not wear braces. <laughs> that is why he has taken them off. It's all quite logical when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have girls? <laughs> okay, chaps, over here. In you go. Jolly good. Are you going to drive Carstairs? Oh, all right, I'll have a go. <laughs> Book or anything? <laughs> it's quite simple. The elastic braces are tied onto that car and hooked round the undercarriage. We start you up, the car is driven off. When the braces are at full stretch, we pull away the chocks and off you go. <laughs> Piece of cake. Where's England? When you're in the air, turn right and keep straight on. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty driver drive it. Do not talk to me with a pipe in your mouth. <laughs> Maria, when I give the signal, you and Yvette will pull away the chucks. Roger, Lisette, stand by on the propeller. Standing by. Switch on. Contact. Into it. They have started theirs already. I am killing myself here. Sissy. You have to fear for the compassion. Oh, the joke. How do you know so much about it anyway? I used to drive one of these when I was a young girl. You got it from the 1904 motor show, I suppose. <laughs> 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 Quick, back to the cafe. Helena, <laughs> <laughs> the news is serious. General von Klinkhofen is looking for you. He stormed into your office demanding to know where you were. What did you tell him? I said that as it was 5.30, you'd not talk for an hour or two to have a quick run at the boozer <laughs> before resuming your search. Why didn't you tell him I was searching somewhere? He's such a dominating man. His powerful stare makes me filt and go weak. 
I cannot say no to a man like that. Oh, I wish I had that kind of stare. <laughs> you must drink up and get going, otherwise we for the high jump. Well, I'm with you. I'm only obeying your orders. <laughs> Stand up, you peasants! Stand up! Up against the wall! Hands on heads! <laughs> Stand still! <laughs> well, it's up! <laughs> what are you doing with your hands on your head? I'm sorry, General. Your powerful stare makes me wilt and go weak. <laughs> I cannot say no to a man like you. <laughs> Who is this idiot? He's my second in command. What do you mean by drinking here when you should be searching? We were looking for something suspicious. Do you expect to find something suspicious in the bottom of a glass? <laughs> You're incompetent. Yes, General. Why a drink? <laughs> we shall probably have you court-martialed. Yes, General. Um, General, I, I think at this point I should say that I was only acting under the colonel's orders, stupid though they were. <laughs> Silence! General, I can vouch for the fact that they have just searched this place most thoroughly, and while doing so, they beat several peasants and kicked the proprietor in a quite oh. brutal fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Good. This will go in their favor. Now, let us see what we have caught in our little net. It is I, Leclerc. <laughs> the pianist, General. Oh, the pianist. Oh. Can you play in the mood? <laughs> <laughs> we have found these two lurking in the kitchen. I see. What are these? Well, um... Uh, they are the staff here, General. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, this is Fifi and Gigi. Huh? <laughs> I've not seen these two before. No. And it is not easy to miss the one on the left with the big Charlies. <laughs> they are new girls from out of town, Herr General. We are so busy, we had to take on extra staff. Are these the girls of uh, easy virtue I've heard about? <laughs> well, fairly easy. <laughs> mm. There's much uh, work to do in my chateau. They are requisitioned. They will start first thing in the morning. Oh, but, General, I, I will be short-handed. They may return here each evening to entertain my troops. You are most kind, General. <laughs> that is all. Come on over. Ooh. The painting. Oh, a, a, a worthless piece of rubbish, General. Hey, is that not so, Colonel? Quite worthless. Yes, terrible, isn't it? Is that so? Are you thinking what I am thinking, Robert? Van Gogh? <laughs> Most assuredly in his style. You have some knowledge of these matters. Have it authenticated. We are taking the picture. Oh, but General, that is stealing. Yes, that is stealing. Oh, that stare again. <laughs> <laughs> yourself with women of the streets while I am out here working up my butt. <laughs> Perhaps I prefer the women of the streets to an old clacker of castanets. <laughs> Captain, are you prepared to see me insulted in my own cafe in this manner? Well, I hadn't thought about it, actually. <laughs> Dance on, strumpet. I am taking these two upstairs. <laughs> 
Uh, Madam Edith Sully, how can you allow this insult to go unavenged? Allow me to strike him. Stand aside! <gasps> Die! Like a dog! Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh. I have missed him and shot the women of the streets. <laughs> that was my gun! <laughs> Colonel, that was my gun! She shot them with my gun! I was pissing by the door. <laughs> Shots. You are holding in your hand a smoking goon. You are clearly the guilty potty. I did not do it. Tell them I did not do it. I was not looking. <laughs> Officer, you have no authority over the glorious German army. This was just an ordinary crime of passion that happens in France on any Saturday night. <laughs> But if it should come to the ears of General von Klinkerhoff... General von Klinkerhoff? <laughs> if it should come to the ears of General von Klinkerhoff... <laughs> that, 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 that an officer allowed his gun to be taken from him, then both he and his superior would be in very hot water. Ah, you see, you are in it too. <laughs> for the usual bribe of 50,000 francs, I trust you will overlook this incident. Did I make those? Shut up! <laughs> Is there an undertaker in the house? <coughs> Monsieur Alphonse, undertaker. <laughs> Swiftly and with style. Oh, what luck. <laughs> I will turn to this a blonde eye. <laughs> Remove the biddies. <laughs> Colonel, Captain, please, leave quickly by the back door with your troops. I will see that General von Klinkerhofen does not get to hear of this. Thank you, Eddie. Take the lieutenant with you. Here it comes. You there! I didn't do it! I did not do it! Shut up! <laughs> oh, Reddy! They have swallowed it! They have swallowed it! I will tell you one thing, Edith. These Germans, they are so stupid. There is no way they are going to win this war. Here comes that English idiot who thinks he can speak our language. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Do you want the good nose or the bad nose? <laughs> oh, do let us have the good nose. <laughs> I have hashed up the shutting of the two tits. <laughs> what does Crabtree say of it? He has hushed up the shooting of the two tarts. Good. And what is the bad news? The Gestapo are hoovering round the graveyard, <laughs> disguised as a nan, a boshop, and a Roman Catholic farter. <laughs> I knew I should not have asked. Where are the airmen? They have taken spades. They have cracked along the tunnel. <laughs> and are dogging. Well, that does not sound like a lot of fun. We are supposed to be helping them. What are we to do? With my disguise as policeman, I am able to escort you there. Look, can you not find a phrase book and improve your French? <laughs> it is terrible! Nobody has complained so far. <laughs> if they do, I will tell them that I am from the left bunk. Yvette, <laughs> Maria. Go round the tables and collect all the flowers so we can take them with us. And what excuse do we give to the Colonel and the Captain? Hmm? You leave this to me. Dear Colonel, dear Captain, forgive us, but we are departing to pay our respect to the two women of the street who I unfortunately shot with your gun. Uh, come <laughs> on. Hans, I think they're up to something. Oh, Uncle Kurt, you're speaking to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a relief. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Yes. <laughs> I think we should follow Rene. 
But General von Klinkerhofen told us to watch the cafe. You're right. We should obey orders. We will watch the cafe. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight it is cabaret time at the Café René. Oh, no. And in the absence of <laughs> Madame Edith, please to welcome, from the Folly Bergère, Madame Fanny Lafayette. Start again, forgetting and forgetting. I was right in the first place. We will follow Rene. What about the orders? Officers must use their initiative. Besides, there's no cheese for our ears. <laughs> Let's turn back the years Let's find some after tears Like sunshine after rain <laughs> I'm yearning for you By night and by day Pray Let's hear you saying I love you I've caught you at an inconvenient moment. Can I help you, monsieur? I am looking for Monsieur René, who I observed entering these premises. He's not here. We will search. Hans, search. Search, search. <coughs> Is there a dead body in here? Hopefully. <laughs> we put a screwdriver in with them in case we make a mistake. <laughs> How far do you want me to go? What do you mean? It is spooky. <laughs> Open the coffin. Uh. It is full of earth. Why is this coffin full of earth? I am growing mushrooms. <laughs> I do not see any mushrooms. That is probably because they have not yet to come up. <laughs> There's earth on the floor. Hans? Help me. Oh, no, monsieur, you cannot. You cannot defile the tomb of the departed. Why is the earth in your pole? I am trying to cultivate the stone of the avocado pear. Do you have to sit on it to cultivate it? Monsieur, it requires a warm temperature. I grew one on a damp flannel. <laughs> It is a tunnel! A tunnel! How did that get in there? <laughs> we must find out where it leads. Hans, you go first. Huh? <coughs> now, what's going on? We are being hunted by the Gestapo and the Jerry troops. In fact, the whole damn lot of them. If they find us without uniforms, we'll be shot. Well, what about this lot? We're the French resistance. They'll shoot us too. My God, Simpson. This is a bit of a facer. There's an inspection in five minutes. Of course. With the crowd general. Uh, we'd better set about hiding them. Will somebody please tell me what is going on? They are going to hide us. But why do we not go back down the tunnel? The colonel and the captain are coming down it. What am I going to do? How oh, about trying to behave like the bravest man in all France? <laughs> Hans, I'm stuck. Oh. Give me a pull. Yes. One, two, two three. three. Oh. Oh. oh, no, look what you have done. We are trapped, and I suffer from claustrophobia. <laughs> I have had it ever since my mother tried to smuggle me out of Berlin in a suitcase. Why would she do that? 
so my father wouldn't find out about me. <laughs> I say, there are some more coming. Yeah, they're dressed as crowds. That's because they are crowds. Uh, hold my gun while I get out. <laughs> <laughs> The tunnel has come out in England. <laughs> Everyone here is under arrest. Attention, attention. Stand by for inspection. Van Gennel von Klinkerhofen. Von There is a gun in your back. If you give us away, you will be the first to die. Do exactly as I say. And listen very carefully. You will say these only words. <laughs> 